Star Trek was very much about morals and philosophy. The hope about Star Trek isn't as much about traveling the speed of light and beyond, aliens. It's more about what we can do to be better people. That's what Star Trek was all about. It isn't anymore. It's now just another sci-fi action franchise. But the Roddenberry vision of, of Star Trek was all about how people, how we as people can be better. That's what's so saddening about what Star Trek has become. It's just that, that element is really, really missing from And they'll, they'll sneak a little bit, it'll drizzle just a little bit of it on the top there. But for the most part, it's just another action uh, fan franchise now. Well, the movies. I won't say this about the new show because I haven't seen the new show yet. So, thinking of the movies, you know, the J.J. Abrams stuff, right? But something that I've said in other videos, and it depresses people, and it makes some people, it actually makes them angry. And that's, we're not going to explore space in the way that we see in in those movies or that uni the Star Trek universe or the Star Wars universe. It's not going to happen. We're not going to, to travel the speed of light unless we find some way to make matter. I mean, think about what would be required to allow matter to move at that speed. I mean, there's a chance that maybe uh, alien technology might be introduced and we figure out how it works. Something like that. That's possible, but how probable is that? The idea of us finding that on our own is 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 God. I'm trying to think of something that something that's that's as ridiculous to to try to to aspire towards. <sighs> the reason why I'm saying any of this is we're not going to be able to do what these these fictional universes push us forth as being able to do. We're we're never going to be able to do those things. But what we can do is try to be better people. Even the Star Wars universe tries to shove forth a sense of morality. It shoves forth uh, about the Force. You know, there there are people that have formed a full fledged religion based off of off off of the Star Wars uh, the, the religions that are in Star Wars. Seems to be kind of a reasonable uh, uh, kind of belief system, as far as I'm concerned. Kind of, it kind of, it's a mix of a lot of different beliefs. It's kind of neat, and I have a feeling that the, that the new Star Wars movies are going to focus less on the that religious element of it and make it more about action and uh, aren't you impressed? So, do I think it would be a good thing for us to go to Mars? Sure, there is a lot we can find out in the process. Of, of doing all of that. There's, there's a lot that we can learn. There may be some things that we can use to help us back on, on Earth. That should be the main focus of us really going doing any of this stuff is to, to, to try to see if we can find out anything that can benefit us here on Earth. Now, we could start mining uh, asteroids. Um, we could uh, start mining uh, things on different planets. Great. But to just go out there in this, oh, we're going to go, we're going to, to just magically suddenly be able to travel uh, many times the speed of light. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's just no. That's, it's sci-fi. It's the fiction part of sci-fi. Okay, and it's not even really that much science. Most science fiction really isn't that sciencey. Tons of things that we just kind of take. I mean, laser guns, pew pew pew. Come on now! Oh, you can watch the watch the beam go from one point to another. There have been a few things. I can't remember what they are right off the bat that have uh, actually been a little more realistic. It's it's a slicing thing. Slice, and anything that's in its path. Slice. Uh, explosions in space, and you hear all this sound. Oh. Poof. No, no, it's the way that ships seem to have inertia, I should say the lack of inertia, they can just sort of move however they want and just dip, 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 dip. Um, 
it's it's kind of like the way that that video games have often done uh, space travel. Um, it's just not it's not a realistic model. Games like uh, Frontier, uh, which what was that Elite Two or was that Elite Three? I think it was Elite Two. Frontier Elite. That game had a pretty realistic uh, model for space travel. There's a lot of shit that that they just. It would be a boring story if they they made it really sciency. Aliens. What's with all these aliens always being? Oh look, they they walk around like a human. Now there have been there have been some examples on some of the show. What uh, uh, Babylon Five? I think they had they had some beings that were like a gas sort of, but it was a being. I didn't really watch that show much, but uh, I remember that being pointed out to me at some other point. I, for some reason, I just was never able to get into that show. I don't, I don't know what it was. Uh, maybe now I could get into it. But I'd say that shows like Red Dwarf will get more science than some of the ones that are supposed to be more serious. <laughs> oh, I love Red Dwarf. I love that show. Um, and I guess there's supposed to be some new ones coming. Um, that would be cool. Uh, so, Banana. <laughs>